in a sequence the way it was supposed to be. Don't you listen to people? The cards are... Callers. This was set up in a sequence to speak. Callers and receivers. The calls are... What, the, the what, point, are called, what difference is it the order that I receive them. No, what this was Tiffany Guerra what, and what, mine was after Pastor Q. After or before? Are you here for the people? What logical sense does that make for you not to allow him to go after? Listen to the people. Damn, Steve. So I'm one of the names of the call, so... Okay, Mr. Khan, if you're part of the sequence, we'll let we'll that out. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so because we can't count on the LAPD, LAPD or the commission to do it, the community has been documenting the culture of violence that has existed in the LAPD since the 1960s. And the fact that LAPD officers have for decades engaged in not only sexual assaults of minors and child molestation, but also in domestic violence and rape, both on and off duty. This research supports our demands, and that is that Chief Beck be fired for negligence, an end to the cadet program, and for those funds to be reinvested into the community, an investigation into LAPD domestic and sexual abuse, and the right to reparations for everyone who has been harmed. And now, because you will not talk about those acts of violence, we are going to talk about them. That's right. That's right. So in 1962 is when the LAPD's Law Enforcement Explorer Program was established. In 1974 is when girls joined the Explorer Program as L-E-E-G-S, Law Enforcement Explorer Girls. They assisted cops on patrol in doing desk work. As a reward for their work, Hollywood cops began taking the Explorer Girls, most of them 15 to 16 year old, years old, on overnight weekend camping trips. And in 1974, advisor to the program, Officer David J. Kalish begins to abuse 14-year-old Explorer Boy. This abuse lasts until 1979 and is not unveiled until 2003, along with evidence of other victims. Hmm. In 1976, an LEEG, that's an Explorer girl, complains to LAPD supervisors that the camping trips are little more than orgies. An investigation finds that, at, that six cops had sex with at least 16 teenage explorers. Disgusting. Officer Michael Casados is suspended for six months when found guilty by a police tribunal of engaging in sexual acts with a 17-year-old female scout. In 1982, Sergeant Lee B. Schroyer is found guilty of raping a woman while on duty. Schroyer resigns from the LAPD to avoid an internal police board hearing. He is found guilty of rape and sent to jail for 18 months. Next speaker, please. Thank you. All right, all right. Say his name! Carnell. And we are reading from information that we researched that is public record. This is not stuff that we made up. In 1985, a sergeant is investigated for raping a woman. His name is not disclosed, but he is removed from field duty following an allegation that he offered a woman a ride, then raped her in the patrol car. 1986, veteran officer and repeat offender Michael Casados is arrested for sexually molesting a 15-year-old girl over a five-year period. Casados resigns from LAPD and due to a plea deal, remains free without bail until his hearing in July and was guaranteed not to serve time. 1986, Officer Al Cunningham is arrested for suspicion of molesting four girls between the ages of 10 and 13 over a four-year period. Charges include felony child molestation and rape. 1987, Officer Doyle John Craig is charged with nine counts of molesting teenage boys, many of whom he met while on patrol. The charges are dismissed after it is alleged that the testimony of the victims was ruled inadmissible. 1989, Officer Stanley Tanabe demands to be let into the home of a 14-year-old girl, claiming her to scream for help after the girl's parents let him in. Tanabe goes to the girl's bedroom and molests her under the pretense of conducting a search. The family files a complaint, but Tanabe returns to the house four weeks later when the parents are gone, and Tanabe is taken into custody, placed on administrative leave, and later sentenced to two years in jail. 1982. Officer Garnier Beasley is charged with raping four women while on patrol. Beasley also shoots a woman in the leg when she tries to flee from him during an off-duty encounter. While being investigated, Beasley is assigned to desk duty, then sent home with pay. Following his arrest, he is suspended without pay. In 1992, Mayor Officer Victor Felix Ramos goes to his wife's place of work and threatens her with his gun. Again, these are items that we're presenting in support 
of our request that the cadet program be removed from LAPD because of this culture of violence. Yes, next one, Say his Have you guys oh, forgot yeah. Raphael Perez? Have you forgot about him? Have you forgot about the Hollywood burglary right. ring with the LAPD? Forgot about them, huh? I ain't forgot about them, though. Okay, I'm just saying, though. Like I'm just to, saying. I'd like to continue with some of the egregious uh, harms that you've caused our community, but I just want to say, I, like, I am a born and raised like citizen here in Los Angeles, and for you guys to just stand there and let and and, and kill us. With, with no repercussion, without holding the officers accountable, is, is deplorable. Right. I, I, you make it a, a yeah. place that, is, that feels unsafe to raise my children in, my someday children, and... No fucked up. 1994, Officer Marvin Jackson is arrested for sexually assaulting a 16-year-old explorer youth. Jackson is knowingly HIV positive. Jackson pleads guilty in a sentence to 52 months in jail. In jail, he's fired from the LAPD. 1996, Sergeant David Lewis Navarro is placed on administrative hold in November for conducting searches of girls aged 16 to 18 and sexually groping them. Yeah. Seven months later, Navarro resigns from the LAPD. He spends only 36 days in jail. Yeah. What is that? 1997, criminal defense consultant Bob Mullally leaks information to a KCBS reporter regarding confidential files about LAPD domestic violence. The files revealed that from 1990 to 1993, 79 officers were investigated for beating their intimate partners and family members. Out of 85 cases, 75 showed evidence of a crime. In one case, an officer struck his wife so hard, her liver ruptured. Wow. In another case, an officer abused his wife and repeatedly raped her 14-year-old niece. Wow. wow. Mm. So Complaints filed in include 61 felony assaults, 35 terrorist threats, 28 assaults with a deadly weapon, 20 <coughs> gun branching incidents, 13 child abuse complaints, and 6 rapes. No officers were arrested or prosecuted. And while 4 officers were fired and 19 were suspended, almost one third of the officers were eventually promoted. My fucking God. <laughs> Oh my Following God. the leak, the Feminist Majority Foundation and the National Center for Women and Policing successfully pushes for an investigation of LAPD practices involving police officers guilty of domestic abuse. My time is up, but please do something. Do something. You're killing us without repercussion. What is that? How can you sit here? How can you sit here and allow this to happen? How can you do this? Where are those predators now? Where are the predators now? Where are they at? Not behind bars, huh? Certain kind of fire charge that work. In this cadet program and put real job training programs in our school for our kids so they can have real opportunities. Nobody want to grow up to be a pig. <laughs> Following the leak, Feminist Majority Foundation and its National Center for Women and Policing successfully pushes for an investigation of LAPD practices involving police officers guilty of domestic abuse. In the resulting report, Inspector General Catherine Mader examines 227 cases of domestic violence committed by officers from 1990 to 1997 and finds that many of the investigations lacked objectivity or were otherwise flawed or skewed. So they didn't believe what the wives had to say about their own husbands. In response to IG's report in August 1997, a domestic violence unit was formed as an arm of the LAPD's Internal Affairs Division. Within seven months, six LAPD officers are arrested as a result of the unit's internal investigations. 1997, Officer John M. Morales is accused of sexual misconduct with a 17-year-old explorer youth and in, in, inappropriately touching two others, aged 14 and 16. Mm. Rosales is placed on administrative leave with pay, sucking up our resources. In the resulting investigation, Police Chief Bernard Parks reveals that there are 95 allegations against eight officers. With these three female victims, Rosales is acquitted. I mean, Rosales is impl implicated with committing statutory rape against one youth 